Hi you guys and welcome. Um, today it's no real unboxing, rather a review um, of the thing. The deluxe edition here from Germany, which was released uh, at the end of March in 2019. The reason why I'm doing this uh, is because a friend of mine told me that there is no real unboxing of this box set in English to be found, either on YouTube or elsewhere uh, on the internet. And yeah, um, this one, uh, I think I got, I have to uh, check the receipts. Um, can you see that? I got this one on March the 28th, 2019 for 55 euro. Um, actually, it was a bit uh, cheaper than 55 because there was some like um, some reduction on that one because of the Super Bowl when you pre-ordered at that night. I don't remember that. Um, anyways, let's start off with this one. It's released by uh, Turbine Media here in Germany and these guys are top-notch uh, when it comes to box sets. Um, this is a huge one and um, out of print, I think, since the release date. This is the uh, modern uh, cover artwork, by the way. There was another box set uh, equal to this one when it comes to the content with the classic design, the classic cinema poster. That is the spine. And yeah, you might recognize the logo from Turbina. Actually, these guys are based in my hometown, which I'm really proud of. And um, I would have shown up over there, but not right now because of the pandemic. I don't think they they don't want to have any more company, company than needed. So, um, well, let's get this out here first. That was uh, attached to the back uh, of the box set. So it's a bit hard to show this one to you. Can you see it? The Deluxe Edition uh, 3 discs and the Soundtrack CD um, by Ennio Morricone. And this is the limitation, 2000 copies. And um, actually um, what Turbine did to the uh, German audio was um, uh, tremendous work um, because they recreated um, the German audio out of, I think, various sources um, because on every release before it was out of sync. And that is why this edition took quite a while um, to be released um, in terms of the German audio. The English audio, um, they moved over from the uh, release by Aero Video and um, they also moved over um, the restoration by Aero Video. So this is like, um, the best thing out there of the thing um, when it comes to picture and sound. These are um, the art cards this one is coming with. See the things on the back printed. Um, yeah, <laughs> uh, the Japanese uh, release everyone is talking about, not only for the thing, uh, but there are various ones coming. I think Jaws was the first one to be announced, then Duel um, by Steven Spielberg. Um, what else was it? Back to the Future and some other ones coming out. I don't like these artworks and I don't know why I should go for another release of this one. Um, yeah. Special sneak preview. Wow, well, actually I saw this one uh, at my cinema. I will show you the ticket, which is somewhere in the box. Um, that was great to see it on the big screen. Oh yeah, it's, it's hiding behind the postcard. You see that? Um, actually, I don't remember, is it saying which year it was? No, I think it's it's about like two years ago um, where I watched this one. It was spectacular on the big screen. I don't know which uh, transfer they used for the screening, but it was looking great. So see, this is uh, still sealed, the original soundtrack, Ennio Morricone. This is the only edition uh, coming with that soundtrack, I think. So that was, um, yeah, a patch. You could attach this to your jacket wherever. Um, I think this is uh, the only edition uh, that I have uh, coming with a patch besides the uh, Cards of Titan release for 2001 A Space Odyssey. That one was also coming with a patch. 
Um, this is poster number one. Yeah, it's a, it's a double-sided poster. I, it's a bit hard to show this one completely to you where I can't move back, unfortunately, with the camera. But this is, I mean, familiar to the fans. And like I said, it's a double-sided one. Here is another artwork. So... So far of the poster number one and there is a second one coming um, gosh so the ultimate in alien terror can you see that and this is the original poster they used uh, at a cinema, the original artwork. Um, wasn't that one uh, shown um, for a few seconds uh, at the very beginning of the movie The Mist? Um, that Stephen uh, King release starring Thomas Jane. I think there was a poster attached to the wall. Um, yeah, who goes there? A short story. This is held in German, of course. Um, there is a lot of text and I think only two or three drawings uh, in that book. So, and this is, uh, it says over here, um, whoops, um, translated uh, from the original English. Um, the original uh, release is from 1938 what it says over here um, from the magazine called Outstanding Science Fiction. Um, yeah, Inside the Thing by Tobias Homan. Yes, that one was, that one was really great. Um, so this is what the content is coming with this little book. So here they are talking about the music and um, the uh, the prequel, so to say, uh, from 2011, and a lot of uh, about like um, the adaptation from the book uh, when John Carpenter was on board. Um, yeah, production notes, storyboards, the casting. Um, the shooting and uh, where they were shooting uh, in Antarctica, so to say. Um, John Landis. Well, I can't show you the whole book, but that you get a little impression what's in there. It's quite informative. I read all of that. So... These are the storyboards, I think. Well, like I said, I can't show you the whole thing. Some artwork, some scenes from the shooting. And here uh, they are talking about uh, the dubbing of the original, um, the original release, the German dub. And here comes the box where all the Blu-ray discs uh, are included. And when you open this one up, a full spaceship appears on the back side. Can you see that? This is really great. I mean, this is what uh, Turbina, the distributors, uh, is doing best. Um, they are always making it up to the fans, and that is why I love them so much. So I think the artwork was uh, almost uh, similar to the one um, released by Arrow Video before. Um, there's nothing spectacular underneath the discs, uh, so anytime. 
anywhere. Anyone. Sounds like a song by Nina. <laughs> Anytime, any place, anywhere, or the other way around. Um, yeah. This is the uh, modern deluxe edition for the thing here in Germany. And um, I was talking about the error release, which is this box set that I got before. Um, this one was the first coming with a complete remaster of both uh, picture and sound. And um, this, this is a must have for the fans, I think. Um, this one smells like all Arrow releases do <laughs> when it comes to the paper. I don't know what they are using um, because it always smells like I, I can't describe it. Um, the most interesting thing, um, I hope I can hold this really still that you can read this, um, is uh, how they uh, worked on the restoration of both um, picture and sound because this was uh, the very first time um, uh, it got the restoration treatment and um, what you can read is they used the original camera negative and everything. Um, that was quite a job and, and a really good job um, they've done to the thing. It's actually, it never looked better. Is this uh, already released in 4K? I, I doubt that, right? Well, it's a bit hard to get this one sharp when I'm turn the pages um, this one was I think limited uh, on arrow I don't know if you can get this anymore but there was a I think an Amaray um, version available of this uh, kind of box set from arrow which comes with I think the identical content but less uh, less when it comes to the poster. Um, this is the almost the same, um, but on thick paper, uh, thicker paper than the uh, Tubina release, the classic artwork. And this one um, is what they, I think, used on the front cover but a bit different and yeah I think yeah that, that was uh, which is available I think on its own this one this Amory and whoops some postcards in there I forgot about these ones yeah I think they are equal from the back side are they yes um, I think these are looking better than the ones um, from Turbine, uh, <laughs> I have to say. Um, but anyways, so, and there's just this uh, single disc and you can move the cover, the artwork you prefer. So yeah, that's basically it uh, about the thing um that was the prequel one um a lot of fans don't like it i like it a lot i mean it's 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 another nice rendition uh so to say and um yeah from the producers of dawn of the dead that's why they what they are uh they like to tease uh movies with these uh mentions um I think there's a uh, YouTube video where someone states um, that there have been like scenes altered a lot, um, which originally have been uh, produced without CGI at the very end. And um, I think there have been discussions uh, among the team, you know, producer, director and staff, and um, they kind of, or the studio kind of preferred the CGI effects. That's why um, the original uh, creature effects were removed, kind of. Um, if I can find the video, I think I, I saved that one to my favorites. Um, I will post that in the description. Um, yeah, that one was uh, the release from Germany. 
and this was um, the original Blu-ray release with awful picture, I have to say. <laughs> that was really, I mean, and a lot of uh, classifications on the front. Um, yeah, they are talking about um, high definition, <laughs> which this one definitely not is. Um, that is why I was um, really looking forward when this one uh, was uh, announced um, about one and a half years ago. And it got really pricey on eBay. It's up for uh, mostly it, it starts like 150 euro, which is insane. So um, yeah, you better pre-order you guys. I always uh, say that. I mean, we have the option here in Media Marks. You can pre-order anything and uh, you only have to pay for it um, when you pick it up at the store. There is no, uh, you are not forced to pick it up. If you don't, if you change your mind, uh, you know, like months later, when you place the order, you don't have to pick it up. So that's, I mean, that is really nice of that market. So um, pre-ordering, uh, I, I pre-order various things. And when you change your mind, you just leave it where it is. So, yeah. Man is the warmest place to hide, I think, was the most famous quote from that movie. So I hope you like this little one. And um, yeah, see you around. Bye.